Hi, this is Mark Sell from the YouTube channel Therapy for the Heart. I'm going to do a part two of the other talk on uh, about uh, uh, Juno Diaz. So, um, I'm changing it because I think the uh, idea of um, borderline was a little bit strong and not accurate. I think the idea of splitting, there could be a tendency to see Mr. Diaz as uh, two different people, rather than one person who achieved a great uh, greatness in him in, in, in his writings, and uh, also he's the same person who also uh, was being um, accused of, and rightly so, um, uh, sexual assault. So splitting is a main way that people have of, of, of trying to see, or trying not to see one person having different aspects of their a personality, but they try to keep them uh, separate so it's so they don't have the anxiety. How can this person who's I looked up to and is such a hero can can also be the same person who did these things that weren't weren't uh, weren't good. So he's he's one and the same person. He just had a, a terrific rise and then it, and then it, and this awful fall. So when when I said that people in terms of responsibility, how do these people who people who abuse others, how do they get there? Well, I was saying that, well, they get there because some stranger didn't abuse them. It was usually somebody that they knew, a father, a stepfather, or a neighbor. So, that's what led to me to say, well, this is, this is our problem together. It's not just, uh, this just didn't come out of nowhere. However, I don't want to have people feel that I was saying that to excuse people's behavior. No way. I try to help, help us understand it so that we become part of the solution, uh, not just the person who's doing uh, the abusive behavior. That's what I'm saying. And that goes for training, too. You know, that, that comment I made about those therapists who uh, wrote in and said that they abused a therapist, and somebody said, well, I was kind of being easy with them, they should be, you know, reported or jailed or sued. Well, I see that point. Yes, that would be very good um, uh, release for the, those pa pa people who are, the patients who are abused by their therapists. So there's a good point about that. Although I'm not, I think more headed off before it gets there and we need more training. You know, the studies that I did and the uh, incidence of erotic countertransference, the PhD, they said, Little training in erotic countertransference. Erotic countertransference means the, the feelings that the therapist has towards the patient of the sexual nature. So there were very little training in social work group, and also it's equally little training with psychologists, at least at that time when I did the studies. So, so that's what we need to do. We need training to help people uh, understand their feelings, to accept them. I have a training group, and uh, I gave this example of a, a woman who uh, skipped the treat. She skipped out of the group for two weeks, and uh, so I called her back and I said, "What's going on?" And she told me the reason. She said she was having this um, shame, shame about her feeling sexual feelings towards a male patient. So I said, well, "Come in and talk about it." So she did, and once she did, uh, the other therapist said, "Well, you know, I have the same shame about similar feelings that I have." So all of a sudden, it was out in the air, and it was easy to talk about. So it's, it, but if it doesn't come out in the air, you can't help a patient um, with their feelings towards you either, and you can't help yourself with your feelings with them if you don't are not aware of them. That's the whole uh, important uh, uh, part about understanding your your own feelings. There. Nothing wrong with them, but, you know. As therapists, maybe we we do have to feel that we are above it all, or we wouldn't have those. We do wouldn't have such feelings, and you know. If, but on the other hand, it's it found that fathers who under, are unaware of, the, of their feelings towards their daughters, for instance, sexual feelings. Now, right when I said that, I bet there are people out there who say, "Oh my God, you, sexual feelings towards a daughter." I bet you there are. Maybe it'd be nice to have you comment about it or write me an email. Uh, about that, you know, you can, we could see what's going on, but there's nothing wrong with feelings. As a matter of fact, um, sex fathers who are not comfortable with their sexual feelings towards their daughters or um, are unaware of those feelings will have a tendency more to act out those feelings, like to do something. 
uh, rather than uh, those people who are more aware and comfortable. And they say, oh, this is just being a human being. I have sexual feelings. Uh, she's a very beautiful girl. She's my daughter. Why not? You know, there's nothing wrong with that. As long as you don't do what it's what we do with our feelings, not the fact that we have them. But again, I bet you there are people out there in the audience. Oh my God, sexual feelings towards or to your son. Well, I gave the example on this channel with Dr. Morris of the woman mother who was sexually abusing her son uh, until he was 21 years old. So it's not just men. I think maybe less women, but maybe they're just not also reported, the cases are not reported as much. Yeah. So, I made one mistake about the uh, Pulitzer Prize winning novel, I think, before, but it's the, the brief life, the brief wonder, wondrous life of Oscar Wilde brief, wondrous life of Oscar Wilde. And I might still have not gotten it correct, but I just wanted to say that. Um, and also, thank you again for Giuseppe Leo and uh, for all those people who, who write, e write in and listen and have reactions. Uh, and uh, I think that, uh, I think that uh, if you keep doing that, we'll, we'll make some sense of all this role of emotions in people's lives. That's what this channel is all about, the role of emotion in your life and uh, in, 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 in a positive or, or sometimes an unhelpful way. So we can figure it out. See if I have anything else here. Yes, I think that's it. But it's all about education and awareness, and that's what this channel tries to uh, bring you. Uh, and it has had many, many um, episodes. We also have podcasts, by the way. You can go to soundcloud.com and um, put in Therapy for the Heart, and there's a list of podcasts equivalent to what we were talking about on the therapy videos. So you can do, go to iTunes or SoundCloud.com and put Therapy for the Heart in there. So, and uh, yeah, so, so there are many videos that are related to this topic uh, about sexual abuse, about how to work with uh, people who have uh, been abused how to work with people who have been abusing. Uh, that we've been had many visit vid videos about children, about infants, autism. Um, youth at risk. There's a lot of youth at risk for um, behavior, not only behavior, but depression, for instance. You know, there's so many youth out there that even starting at toddler age, depression and, and often no facility to, to help them. There's not enough uh, therapists and clinics around. And that's also particularly true if you're a person of color. Yeah. So, so that's it for, I'm, I'm really gonna sign off right now. Mark Sell, and again, write me um, an email, marksell at gmail.com or Check my website, marksell.com. And it's nice to be here again and um, make a comment. If you have a Gmail account, and, and like, like the talk or not like it, but just do have a reaction. Okay, so adios. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.